Hello, this is the Uncola Man. <clears throat> Trinidad born actor, director, choreographer Jeffrey Holder, God rest his soul, voiced this ad in the 1970s for 7 Up Soft Drink, contrasting here cola nuts with uncola nuts, lemon and limes. But this is not the uncola talk, this is the unspatial talk, which is a slightly melodramatic musing about the cogency of the fashionable focus on spatial thinking as a distinct, educable, STEM-nurturing approach to academia and pedagogy. Uh, let's see, I'll start by claiming that such a focus requires us to explain what is spatial. I observe that spatiality is ubiquitous and fundamental in physical reality cultural reality, social relations, personal experience, and even symbol systems, i.e. information. But, or probably therefore, it is notoriously difficult to define. One can list spatial properties which are numerous and heterogeneous. Location, size, distance, direction, shape, overlap, connectivity, dimensionality, containment, hierarchy, and so on and so on. And of course, various ontologies attempt to do this, but I am rather suspicious we will ever succeed in generating a valid and comprehensive list of such properties, not to mention succeed in identifying atomic core or fundamental primary properties, which are building blocks for all the others. Anyways, a list is not a definition. How about this, quote, quoting myself, a property of reality encapsulating the fact that everything is not at the same place, which is circular, of course, like every other definition I've ever heard of space. Okay. And never mind how space is related to time and temporality, but I agree with this and find this not to be humorous whatsoever, but a statement of fact. Um, I disagree that space and time are one of a kind, unless you're a physicist. So we'll move on from that. <clears throat> the, the ubiquity of spatiality is problematic for the spatial enterprise. It leads me to question whether anything is unspatial, as in fact Kitty said a few minutes ago. What thinking, what analysis, what aspect of reality itself does not include entities and events that exist in space, extend over space, and involve movement, which is just change of location, right, over time? Consider cognition, specifically. Is all cognition spatial? Don't all spatial cognitive tasks have non-spatial, let alone non-cognitive, components. And furthermore, all cognition occurs in space and place, and nearly all involves spatial information, at least implicitly. This includes linguistic, numerical, social, and other domains of cognition. Take reading, for example. Even recognizing letters is a spatial task, but nobody wants to call that spatial cognition. So I'm going to finish with this thought. <clears throat> Space is not just the final frontier. It is the original frontier and every frontier in between. And I'd like to, on that note, thank you for your time and space today. <clears throat>